this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to answer the question about whether you can put these fans on this all-in-one cooler. And by that I mean, can you use other fans that aren't included with your all-in-one cooler? I get asked this question a lot, and most of the time it's by people that want to know if you can use Lian Li Lee fans, whichever variant you want to use, on your all-in-one cooler. And the answer is yes, yes you can. Whether you should or not is a different question, which we'll get to in a minute. But I wanna to talk to you about the various different times that I've done this and the logic behind it. Not just with Leon Lee fans, but with other ones. So you can see, for example, I swapped out some Corsair fans on a Corsair all-in-one cooler for some Noctua fans in the past. And I've done this a few different times, swapping out, for example, Corsair ML120 fans with QL120 fans lots of other tests and just experiments and also just changing the aesthetic of the case. A lot of the times you want to do this if you want to basically set your all-in-one cooler up so that it looks the same as the rest of your case to sort of maintain that aesthetic so you've got the same fans on your case as you have in the AIO just to make it look nice whether you like Noctua fans or not it's obviously a personal preference but this works with Lian Lee fans just as much and I've done a variety of different all-in-one coolers with a variety of different fans as well and for the most part it's perfectly fine to do generally these fans are good enough to keep the cooling performance at a good level and to keep things running cool and the setup process is mostly the same. There are a few different things of interest to go into though. So I wanna talk about the logic of how I would do it and how I have done it in various different builds so that you get an idea of it. Now I've done a guide separately on the logic of how to install your fans and the direction to face them. But here I'm gonna talk about the wiring logic. So what I'm doing here is I'm obviously setting up these fans and these are Lian Lee fans going on an NZXT Kraken Z73. Now Lian Lee's fans are interlocking fans with daisy chain connections. Here I'm using the single connection. So this is a cable that has two cables coming out of it and it comes with a single fan when you buy it rather than the triple pack. One cable is RGB and the other is power. Now on this NZXT cooler, there is a cable that comes out of the pump head, which has a breakout cable for three connections on it. Usually you'd connect all three fans that are on the cooler directly to this. But in this instance, obviously the daisy chain fans on the Lee and Lee connection is just a single cable. So connect that single cable up to the breakout cable and then the all-in-one cooler controls both the fan speed and the pump speed at the same time. Now what happens if you have a different cooler that doesn't have a breakout cable like this Corsair H100i for example? Well the logic is still pretty similar. What you do is you basically take that same double connection, so the two cables that you'd have with the Lian Lee connection, plug it into the daisy chain link and then you have the RGB and the power connection. And instead of running that to the pump head, you then run it to the motherboard. So what we want to do here is essentially we're looking to connect the cable up to the CPU fan header on your motherboard. The other cable, so the RGB connection, then runs to the Lian Lee controller. And this works for all the different Lian Lee variants. The logic is basically the same. So the control box now does the RGB lighting, but the power for the fans is controlled by your motherboard. That way everything is logically controlled and your motherboard has control over both the fans and the pump speed. The fans connect up to the CPU fan or CPU opt, which is the optional CPU fan header. So you can see CPU fan one on this motherboard, for example, and then your pump connects up to pump fan one or AIO pump. And that way your motherboard has control over everything. And that makes it a lot easier and more logical than connecting up, I think, the power to the Lee and Lee control box because obviously that's separate and it's not necessarily meant to work with the pump. This logic also runs through into Corsair fans. So here you can see the AF120 RGB Elite going on an H150i Elite Capilux cooler. And the logic is slightly different here because we have a Commander Core. So this uses RGB fan controls and fan power separated out into two. I have six fans plugged into one. Now with this cooler, and this pump set up, you can actually use this controller to plug in six fans. So you could theoretically put three fans on one side and three fans on the other in a push-pull logic. Obviously, you could swap out the included fans with these upgraded ones, so the AF120 RGB Elites, for example. You could use QR120s if you needed a nice bit of matching RGB aesthetic throughout your case. The logic, if you're swapping Corsair fans that are already included with an all-in-one cooler with different Corsair fans, is pretty straightforward because you obviously have RGB fans swapping for RGB fans for the most part. 
So you'd basically use that same sort of logic of either using the commander core for your RGB lighting or connecting it up to an RGB lighting node. So the lighting node allows you to have control over the RGB lighting and then the fan power you'd control via the motherboard. Now you can see obviously commander core makes everything a little bit easier but it is possible to connect up just the RGB line to the RGB node. So it looks like this, which basically has six RGB connections on it. And then you could use a splitter cable for fan power. So you can buy a cable that has three connections on it that would then take the power to the CPU fan header on your motherboard, as I showed you earlier on. So you'd then have power controlled over those. So you can see the sort of logic of how each of these sort of things works throughout. And if you do use multiple commanders and controllers, you may end up with multiple USB connections, which is something to bear in mind. You can see, for example, we might have three. If you have pump head, RGB node, and then commander core, then you might have that set up. You may want to invest in a USB splitter. I'll link in the description to one of the options that I've used in the past for this sort of connection. If you only have two on your motherboard that you can connect up to, this is an alternative that gives you more options. But generally speaking, the process is pretty straightforward. And yes, you can do it. My experience with swapping out standard pre-included fans with RGB ones is that you might take a hit in performance in terms of the cooling performance. And that is worth bearing in mind. Because obviously, sometimes if you have a superior fan in terms of the RGB lighting, it doesn't have as good airflow. It hasn't got the highest possible RPMs. It doesn't have the best in terms of our airflow going through the radiator, for example. But actually, in my experience, that negative hit is so small that you'd barely notice it. And I still get really good cooling performance out of my case, for example. And you'll see from some of the shots. And if you want to find out more, be sure to check out some of the other videos that I've done that I'll link to in the description where I've run benchmarks on them. But for example, right now at the time I'm making this video, doing recordings and other things, I'm getting 45 degrees on my CPU with the Z73 Kraken cooler and Lee and Lee SL120 V2s on it. So I think it's worth doing and it makes your case look awesome. This has been the Baroque Prawn. Thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.